Hey Cigar Pals, today, La Aroma de Cuba Nobilis. This is from Ashton, and it's uh, manufactured by the uh, Pepin Garcia factory, the, um, what you call it, factory in, um, my father factory in Nicaragua. See, is that getting... What a nice looking stick, huh? It's got some nice tight seams. It's got some thin veins on it. I can't see everything. It's got a triple cap on it. I don't know if I can get that for you guys to see. There's a triple cap on there. An open foot. We're going to give it a try. This is requested by um, Renee, Deb's friend Renee. She comes up with these things. She sees them. She doesn't smoke cigars, but she uh, likes to watch them on. She she wa watches them. She goes online and watches this stuff and looks it up and stuff. And this particular stick, it was the band that caught her eye, and she really thought it was pretty. So <laughs> we're gonna give it a try. This is a pretty. Not a fairly expensive stick. It's about a $14 stick. Nice uh, chocolate and uh, cashew and earthy flavor, or earthy smell, aroma, earthy aroma. And there's a bit of honey in there. Real nice smelling cigar. I let Deb smell it. She went, ooh. <laughs> but uh, very nice. Very nice. I'm going to cut it with my trusty V cutter. I did tell you that's got a triple cap, right? So we're going to cut it with the V cutter. And that did, we didn't want to see that, did we? That thing just uh, split out there. And I just got these from uh, Cigars International. Hmm. Don't like seeing that. Anyhow, hmm, cold draw, chocolate, the cashews there, it's more of a, to me it's a leathery smell. or a leather, leathery taste. It, it smells earthy, but when you draw it, it's a more of a leathery. But I'm going to torch this thing. I'm going to try not to burn the hell out of it like I did the last time on that uh, E.P. Carrillo stick. There will be no more of that. Renee caught that. She thought it was funny. But Renee caught this that she... Uh, when I burn up the cigar last week. Very smooth. Hmm. That's a that's a medium it's supposed to be a medium to full, but it's very smooth. I'm t I'm picking up that leathery taste. And the almond or the uh, cashews. Not really tasting that chocolate, but uh, or I'm not really getting into getting anything sweet right now. But we'll check it out and see. I'll be back. All right, let me tell you a bit about La Aroma. Um. La Aroma de Cuba, de Cuba, transcends roots that date back to the late 1880s in Cuba, where the brand became early favorite of Winston Churchill. In the midst of Cuba's rebellion against the years of Spanish conquest, Churchill arrived on the island in 1895 as an eager young lieutenant. There, the genesis of his brilliant military career and his avid passion for handmade cigars emerged more than 120 years later. A La Aroma de Cuba embraces an entirely fresh 
and prominent heritage in Nicaragua. Bet you didn't know that. I'll be back. All right, I got some more stuff to read y'all. The brand's modern day revival began in the early 2000s with a series of popular handcrafted releases clad in boxes and bands that featured original Aroma de Cuba artwork. Cigar lovers embraced the brand's classic old world appeal and its sophisticated, invigorating taste. Today, La Aroma de Cuba is blended by legendary cigar maker Jose Pepin Garcia in Esteli, Esteli, Nicaragua. Pepin's foundation in Nicaragua is preceded by his extensive reputation in Cuba as a master blender. blender. For decades, Pepin, Pepin saw, oversaw a production of a number of Cuba's most revered brands. As a result, La Aroma de Cuba displays a deep allegiance to its Cuban hallmarks as Pippin blends <clears throat> the brand's award-winning portfolio of premium cigars with his son Jamie Garcia. Generations of meticulous cigar-making craft influencing unrivaled standards for flavor, aroma and quality expressed in La Aroma de Cuba cigars. The finest aged tobaccos are attentively blended to deliver awe-inspiring taste and a balance in honor of an extensive Garcia family tradition. The Garcia family is my father's cigars. They make incredible cigars. So there's no doubt about it. This should be a nice stick. And so far, I'm enjoying it. It's a... Uh, It's funny, it's not real strong. Deb thought it was strong, but it, to me it's it's not it's more medium to mild or mild to medium, <clears throat> but it's a nice stick. I'm liking it so far. I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. I can't read everything that's on here, but I love the backstory. I love the I love to read about these companies. Um, and what they do and how they do it and everything. They got a La Aroma de Cuba has a really nice site um, with a lot of information. I will link that in the blog post. You need to go check it out because it's really cool stuff. You know, I I usually I always put links and stuff to things in the blog. And that's for your benefit as well as mine, you know. I can't tell you all this stuff. I can't, I mean, there's a ton of it. But I really want you to go check it out and uh, see what's there. And this cigar is burning nice. Real nice draw. Nice burn line. Nice ash on there. Renee, this is turning out to be a winner. I think it'll be okay. I'm uh, not a whole lot of complexity. Um, there's that leathery taste in there. I'm picking up some of the the cashew. Um, it's kind of a It's, it's, I don't know how to explain it, but some cigars have more of a um, base taste to them where they've got not, not a lot of sweet, not a lot of um, spice, more of a, just a, a base flavor to it, which with the, with the nut, you know, with the nuts and the, um, or the cashews and the, um, leather <clears throat> it's kind of a special profile you know now I'm expecting I'll probably get a lot more out of this as we go along but that's what I'm picking up right now but we're still pretty early into that cigar so let's see I think that that little honey flavor is there just a little sweetness on my tongue but not very peppery <clears throat> I stick I'll be back all right this is burning pretty nicely 
had a little spot over here, but no big deal. Um, flavors come, flavors are really nice. It's a, uh, I'm getting more sweetness now. That honey flavor is coming out pretty good. I'm starting to pick up a little bit of like a, a chocolatey flavor in there. And uh, of course the, the cashew and the leather is still there for me. Um, nice, this is really turning out to be a nice stick. I'm reading over here, I'm seeing if I want to become a sales rep for them. <coughs> for some reason, I don't think they'd let me ride my Harley around selling their product. Too bad. <laughs> Anyhow, I'll be back. A little more on the back history of this cigar. Going back to Ashton Cigars. Um, Ashton has been around since 1985 and uh, they've had a great history. They've had some great cigars over the years. I've uh, smoked quite a few Ashton cigars. Um, I'm looking at a picture here of a bunch of their cigars on my computer, <clears throat> and I've probably smoked most of these. There's a couple of them I don't recognize, but most of them I've smoked before. And uh, I don't smoke Ashton very often, but every now and then I'll run across one and I'll be like, hey, I haven't smoked in an Ashton, Ashton in a while. Let's smoke one of those. So, um, you know, I'll put a link to them too. I'll put a link to them, and I'll put a link to the uh, La Cuba, La Aroma de Cuba, um, Noblesse. But uh, that's what we'll do. I forgot what time I started this cigar. I'll look it up on my thing so you can see it in the blog post but uh, it's the middle of the night by the way <clears throat> me and Deb are on night shift this is our night off so we just came back from doing laundry and now we're sitting here and it's probably about what is it uh, 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 2.20 in the morning so uh, this is what we do at 2.20 in the morning on our night off because you don't want to <clears throat> You don't want to mess around and go to sleep too early because it'll mess your whole schedule up and it just is really hard. So you just keep on the regular schedule and uh, it works out. I think I need to start a um, podcast. <clears throat> Get some people to uh, talk to on the podcast and I think that's what I need to do. Anyhow, I'll be back. Just rambling. So I'm about halfway. And, uh... Flavors aren't really changing much. I'm, I'm still picking up that little chocolatey thing. A little bit of honey. You know, the sweetness is very vague, though. And, uh, the leather's there, strong. Um, the, um, the cashew flavor is, uh, has stayed with it fairly strong, but it's not, and, you know, it's supposed to be a medium to full, but I'm, I'm finding it to be about a medium stick. Like it though, that split right there hasn't affected me too bad I can feel it on the draw sometimes but overall but the draw is still real nice the burns getting a little off right there it might be because I'm not paying attention to it we'll set it down for a minute see if it corrects itself I'll be back alright folks good news and bad news good news is nice cigar I like it I'd smoke it again I'd even pay that $14 again matter of fact I got about four more <laughs> but uh, the bad news is my battery's about to die the way I've got everything plugged in I've got to disconnect my microphone in order to plug it in the cigar is not changing much it is a very nice cigar beautiful band and I think we're gonna call it a wrap here and We'll just, uh, I'll go on and finish the cigar out, but 
like I said, it's not changing much. It is that sweetness is getting in there. I'm, I'm starting to pick up more sweetness. So I'm what I might do. I'm gonna plug it in to my charger, but that takes my microphone out. But I'll see if I can uh, keep going and uh, do talk a little louder. <laughs> so anyhow, I, I'll probably be back. Just to let you know, the bands did come off nice and clean. Did not tear the cigar or anything. So that's a good thing. And like I say, I'm picking up sweetness. That honey flavor. It's starting to come along nicely. Surprising it this this far down, and I'm tasting the uh, the, the chocolatey flavor. Still picking up a lot of leather, and the um, the cashews. Um, nice stick, you know. Sorry for a reflection of the computer. <laughs> I had to change sides too, and in order to plug this in. But you get the gist. I'll be back. My cigar is starting to unroll, but <laughs> um, I'm really surprised though. I'm starting to pick up a lot of flavor at the end, which is very rare, but uh, I'm getting a lot of sweetness now. That honey, that chocolatey, the cashews, the leather. Um, can't identify anything else but it's uh really surprising me it's really tasting good I'm enjoying the finish on this by the way speaking of finish it has a long finish which means that when I take a draw that flavor stays in my mouth all the way till the next time I take a draw good stuff good cigar I'm really impressed way to go Renee you picked a winner All right, Cigar Pals, this turned out to be a nice stick. It's uh, La Aroma de Cuba Nobles, and uh, been a most enjoyable cigar. And uh, we're gonna call it done for here for now because uh, I got other things to do and can't sit around smoking this last little bit of cigar for the rest of the night. But it really did turn out good. The flavors at the end are just kicking my butt. I can't believe it turned out that good. Um, so, anyhow, until next time, Cigar Pals, keep smoking.